Hi everybody, welcome to The Cigarette. I'm The Cigarette's wife, Donna, and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade mini blueberry cheesecakes. So, uh, you're gonna need a muffin tin, four eggs, uh, these, uh, those type of uh, parchment paper uh, cups. Uh, all, you're gonna need all together four cups of blueberries. So I put these, these two are, we don't need them right away. <laughs> but <laughs> but the, I've already washed some over there and we'll get over there in a second. <laughs> and then there's, <laughs> okay, sugar, graham cracker, crumbs, lemon juice, and butter, unsalted butter. And, oh, and cream cheese, you need two cream cheese and uh, I'm not sure but vanilla I don't know if I said that or not that's that that's already said that I just have that measured out okay I'm trying to be prepared today okay so uh, okay so here's our and you need a pot too okay so you take your uh, things here your blueberries that I've already washed and, and make sure like if you see a little bit of stems to pull them off because you don't want that you don't want that at all <laughs> okay and we gotta put these in here or if you have like a fruit a fruit a food <laughs> processor whatever you have oh see there's a stem right there Somebody, I think it's a machine that's supposed to pull those out. <laughs> Maybe not. And then in, so this is two cups of blueberries and then you need uh, two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of lemon juice. And what we're going, and oh yes, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so you, we're going to put our sugar in here and our lemon juice and then we just want to, you know, just, just kind of do what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't have the words to, to describe. <laughs> Okay. I would say about that. Do it like that. Okay, and then you're gonna come over here and we're gonna turn on your, I'd say turn it on to like a six and uh, make sure none of this gets on anything because it's probably gonna stain. So you should wear an apron. Okay. There's a little bit of water in there. Okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna pour that in and what we're gonna do is you let this come to a boil keep stirring until it uh, until it does that and then uh, and then when it does that <laughs> when it starts to boil okay we're gonna turn it Turn it down to a simmer and you're gonna simmer it for about 10 minutes. So see how see how it's uh, like liquidy right now? Well, in 10 minutes, roughly 10 minutes, you'll know when it's ready because it's gonna be thicker. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be like that. Okay, so we'll be back when, uh, when our, Well, you know what? We're gonna stop here because I need to do a couple things, and then we're gonna go and do our uh, graham cracker, the base for the uh, the cheesecakes. So I'll see you guys in a second. All 
Okay, so we're gonna do our graham, the graham cracker crust. So you're gonna need a cup and a half plus two tablespoons of graham crackers. Uh, a quarter cup of sugar. And four tablespoons of unsalted butter, melted. And then we're gonna pour that into there. And then you just wanna mix this all. This. Are you gonna address the static sound? Oh, that's the uh, that's the heat. That's the. It's a little bit chilly here today. The wind's cold. So that's what that noise is. And you just keep mixing it till it's kind of like um, like wet sand, I guess. You know, at the beach. <laughs> I want to also say that this recipe, oh, I want to say two things actually. You got, you got to make sure your cream cheese is room temperature. So, for instance, I took mine out at 6 o'clock this morning, and it's now 9.30, and it's like, uh, it's just about there, but you, you need that, that to be room temperature, and you need your eggs to be also uh, room temperature. So I just wanted to say that, and I was going to say something else, and I, and I forget. Uh... <laughs> It wasn't about that. What was I saying? Uh, room temperature. No, before mm. that, I was going to say something. I oh, yeah. I wanted to address that. Uh, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the. Okay, the recipe. This recipe here says um, it makes 18 cupcakes not cupcakes 18 mini cheesecakes and well we'll see and if that's like I only have this muffin tin but you can just saran wrap your uh, you could just saran wrap uh, your leftovers until your cupcakes are, are not your cupcakes your <laughs> cheesecakes are uh, are um, done cooking and then just make the extra, how many did I say this makes? 18. 18, so, but I'm not sure. Uh, I need to look at this picture for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you need something like, uh, I don't know, you may need a little bit, you may need a little bit more in some, I guess. The recipe just doesn't say too much. And then you're going to take, so it, for instance, we're going to do this one. So you see how it's all crummy in there? And then it says to take something like, you know, another uh, measuring cup. Maybe not that size, maybe this one. <laughs> and you want to just push it down as best as you see, like that. Because that's going to be your, hang on a second, I got to, uh, <laughs> stir my my stuff here you see how much has like uh, evaporated mm -hmm. so you just want to continue to do that okay and then we'll come back over here and okay so uh, yeah um, you're just gonna continue on doing this and pushing them down and then these are gonna go into the oven. I think it's. I'm not sure the time. See, you just just pretend you're like it's like a cheesecake, you know. You gotta you gotta make your your base because that's gonna that's gonna be the uh, what is it called? Like your uh, it's got a. I don't know, it's exactly like a cheesecake. You just, you know, use like what, what you're, like a, how do you say that? 
I was gonna say use what your brain's telling you, but like uh, <laughs> do that. Use what your brain's telling you. <laughs> like if, you know, just like what you think. Okay, and make it look pretty much like this. Yeah, just make sure you push it down. Yeah. And this one needs a little bit more. And like you could look and be like, mm, you know what? That one may need a little bit more. Like this row here looks, looks a little, oops, looks a little bit um, terrible. Not terrible, but you can tell it needs some work. But make sure you see that obviously there's going to be uh, enough like to make the extra, what is it? An extra six. six. Okay, now we're going to put these into the oven, and I think it's for 10 minutes, but maybe it's not, I think. Okay, so then we're going to put this in the oven for uh, eight minutes, or it says till it's so if you can start smelling your your crust you you're, you can take it out okay so we'll put these in the oven we'll set the timer for eight minutes and this is going to go a little bit longer so we'll be back when uh, when this is just a little bit lower. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the uh, the blueberry. It sh it should kind of be like that. <laughs> and I'm. You don't use this until, uh, well, I'll tell you when, but it's not for a while. So I'm just going to stick it in the fridge uncovered because I don't want that condensation. But from that, I'll tell you guys this now, you need a third of a cup. And I have mine. It's still a little warm, but it's not, I just need it to cool down a little bit. So by the time I do the next part, it'll be okay to put in. <laughs> okay. And also our our crusts are done. And next we're going to put in the cream cheese and we need to uh, oh yes, I, I need to mention that I forgot to tell you guys at the very beginning. You need uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and you need a third of a cup of sour cream. so. Hopefully you have that. <laughs> yeah, hopefully if you're trying this recipe, you watch the video till the end because if you didn't, yeah. <laughs> and you'll know when your cream cheese is also like it's very, it gets very squishy. Don't leave it out too long though. It's like, there's like a limit. And you're also going to leave your oven on to where at the 350 because that's what you need it for to, uh, to cook those. Okay, so first we're just going to... <laughs> we're going to uh, mix the cream cheese. Okay, so you, we're gonna 
scrape down the sides. And next we're gonna add a, a cup of sugar, it says. I'm pretty sure I should double check. <laughs> Yep, a cup of sugar and uh, a, a, oh, that's why this is here <laughs> and a quarter teaspoon of salt and then we're going to uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to mix it. Yeah, we're gonna mix it. <laughs> Stop and get all your sides. Watch you don't <laughs> knock your thing over. Okay. So when you, jeez, I get cream cheese everywhere. Uh. And we're going to add in a table, a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we'll call that a teaspoon. It's maybe a little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I need a area. Okay, and then you need a third of a cup of uh, full fat sour cream. And then we're gonna put this in, and then we gotta um, then we gotta mix. down your your sides then okay so for your eggs you need two two uh, full eggs so you're gonna put the eggs in one at a time and just make sure it's mixed in don't you don't want to over mix it <laughs> put put down your sides, put your next egg in. Take your thing out. <laughs> And then you're going to take two egg yolks. I've already uh, separated them, but Again. 
Give it one last. Okay, and then we're gonna get our third of a cup of blueberry stuff. Put this back in here. Watch, watch you're not, uh, you know, just because it's blueberry, so don't be wearing like a white shirt while you're making this. <laughs> done with this put them over there out of the way get your hands a little rinsing this has some ice cream scoops guys so now um, Gonna take our our cooled. These are for later. I'll, I'll show you. You don't need to. They're just for decoration. Okay. So now you're gonna take your this, and we're gonna fill them up. Not. Uh, you don't have to. They don't go right up because you gotta, you know, leave a little bit of, of, uh, of room. Because you, what? They're gonna grow. They're gonna expand. Yeah, they get a, a they get puffy. This one may need a. I think what I have to do is. making it crooked. <laughs> A little bit more. Do they all look about the same? Yeah, I think so. And what I'm going to do with this, because it says, you know, it makes 18 right mm -hmm. so we're just gonna i'm gonna cover this and put it into the fridge until these are done baking and then i'll just uh continue on i would i would do about let's try there okay so the next step is these are going to go into the oven at 350 degrees 18 minutes after the 18 minutes is up, you're going to shut off your oven and leave them in there for another 20. And then, uh, I'll show you guys like the last, like the final step. I'm making these for, so this is like, <laughs> these are for tomorrow for Easter, okay? But I'm going to take one of them and show the, the final thing because you don't, if you're making these for like the day after, like, for advance, you can put them in the fridge, but you can't put the, the sauce stuff on it yet. That's like the day of that you eat it. Anyways, let's put these in the oven. And, oops, put our timer for 18 minutes. And, uh, I'll see you guys uh, when, when they're done. And, and your final step.
Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's done, but I need to tell you guys something right now because in the recipe that uh, the person doesn't say how much to put in there, uh, like the, the filling, okay? So these ones are a little bit low, not too bad though, but the other six that I had to wait for, like to do, you can probably, can you see in there? It's You almost have to fill them like uh, pretty close to the top of the, the cupcake liner. That's what I wanted to say. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm just showing for like if you were going to make them today, like eat them today. If you're going to eat them tomorrow or like whenever, you don't do this part. So you need to take a little bit of this sauce. I don't know how much. We'll try like a bad. And you're supposed to see if there's, just make sure if there's nothing uh, going through for whatever reason. Just let's touch it. Okay, then we're gonna take this off like this. Okay. There it is. <laughs> yeah, see how it's like there's a, uh, I guess it's for the chunks going very slow so you may want to uh, I'm just doing this just to show what it's the end result but you see down there yeah. that's what you see there's another one I guess maybe you could press eh? I guess you can press <laughs> and so on and so forth uh, where can I? I need uh, something. Uh, I can put there. Or can you can you just hold? Oh. Maybe just hold it over that, and you take this stuff, right? There's a dot coming. And you, uh, you're gonna spread it around. It's it's good if you have a helping hand like I do. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna just spread it around like that. Okay, you can put as much on as you would like. You can, yeah, you can just, that's fine now. Okay, and then you're gonna grab your whipped cream and shake it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Well, she's really on there. Watch her cut yourself. You got it? Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to put some whipped cream on. And then you're gonna, you know, you can put your decorated however. And that's how you make uh, mini blueberry cheesecakes. And uh, now Ed and I are gonna test it. <laughs> We're gonna test them. Uh, you get. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat mine here. <laughs> I'm supposed to drizzle down like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find a good spot. I guess you could see it probably.
Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That's so good. It's so good. It's also good because you're not going to eat a big slob of cake now. You can just take a little. Yeah. <laughs> you got uh, stuff on your on your face. Maybe I want it there. <laughs> so, anyways, that's how you make. You have stuff on your face too. No up higher. It's right. It's right over here. <laughs> so, if you're, you know, I would just suggest that you you maybe take. Uh, this stuff out of the fridge, the sauce part, out of the fridge, uh, maybe like a half an hour before you put it in the strainer. But other than that, that's all you need to do. So I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I have other things I have to do. And we'll be back with some kind of other video, right? Mm -hmm. And that's everything. So that's it. That's all. Bye.